Oh, yeah, got one. Don't feel bad, actually. Hi, it's the Constant Angler. Uh, up on a wet and windy canal again today. Gonna be chasing the pike. Um, I really want to get some of some jig flies. I've got some new jig flies um, from Flies for Preds. Uh, Kato jig flies, particularly nicely tied these. Uh, really resemble some of the jerk baits and other lures that I use in the colour. It's got an orange sort of perch colour and a rainbow trout sort of colour. <coughs> Both of which have caught uh, pike on this canal for me. Those colours anyway. So I'm going to give it a whirl with the jig flies. If they're not doing anything, because pike don't always do what you want, I'll go in with the usual shads, maybe try a jerk bait. Might try some frogs, something like that. Depends how much weed is there, to be honest. We'll uh, we'll just freestyle it and see what happens. Let's get on with it. Well, I'm going to start off with this rather beautiful Kato jig fly in a sort of uh, rainbow trout pattern. Beautiful as that. Oh, there's a fish. Just missed it. Little jack pipe. Don't know whether you've seen that. All right, we'll just switch things up. All I've done is I've taken the, the line through trace off of a Savage Gear pike 4d pike 3d pike whichever one i got and i've got one of my 30 centimeters savage gear loose bodied eels i put a shallow screw in here um you could put a ring off it and thread this through that and use a bead i could probably do with putting a bead there really to be honest and just clipped it in to the eel because the trace i had for it was getting rather um old and jaded and then i've removed the barbs and all i'm going to do is clip that to my wire trace above now that clip there it'll do but it's not ideal i haven't got any um the must slot uh mustard stay lock i think they're called aren't they yeah possibly uh clips left um otherwise i'll be using one of those there and then this is a wolfram trace i think it's called if i can find the packets there you go. So this is 30 centimetres, about the minimum length I would go, but I do have the really old trace wire trace as well. And it's 25 kilos, which is about 40, 50 pounds, I think. And yeah, I'm going to go with that because nothing else has worked. Um, I'm going to go up the stretch of the canal where you would have seen um, me fish on my last three videos, but I'm expecting that to have been pressured a bit. So uh, yeah, I'm switching it out to an eel because it's very natural. I don't think too many other people would have fished it. And um, yeah, well, that, that's the way we're going at the minute. That's the thinking. Well, let's work this real eel. Just straight winding it and stopping it every so often and let it sink and then flutter down. Don't want to go too far because the weeds start to get up. It just gives a pike. You can do this, you can you can do what you like with a tree, but you've got to put those stops in every so often. The eel works beautifully on a straight ridge, slow retrieve. You can wind it nice and slow and then put your stop in. We'll see. Yeah. You wind it too fast on wave like this, it will just come up on the surface. Oh, yeah, got one. Don't feel bad, actually. Ain't big, but there you go. We're in. Pulling a bit, but it didn't look like a big fish. Let's bully it a bit. At least we got one. He smacked that. He was on. He is fighting this fish. He's a little bit bigger than I thought. Still not a big, big, big fish, but. But he's a reasonable fish. Let's get him this size. Reasonable fish. There we go. Hike in the net. Let's leave him in the margin. Drag off a bit. I need to loosen that a bit. Yeah, we got one. 
Right, let's get all our gear together. Right, let's get the fish out. Not bad size when he fought very well, this fish. Got it away. Then I'm off. Make sure the fish stays on the mat. I shall unclip trays for this. That's out the way. And the fish over, hold him still. Beautiful colours. Beautiful, beautiful colours on this fish. Right. Get him hold right, held right. Right, I think we can use the bakers for this. He's not hooked deep. There, he's not a big fish at all. But now we're going to get the hooks out of the way of the fish and us. There we go. So, not a big pike, feisty pike. Probably about five pounds, something like that. It's just a jack, really. But I'm pleased with that. Let's hold him up for the camera. Nicely, he got a bit of weight to him. He's a good five pounds. He wasn't hooked in the gills or anything, so there's, there's a little bit of blood there, but some of his mind, some of his is. Uh, you got to give them chance to recover properly. So let's let him rest a bit. Just take the time. Yeah, he's ready to go. So we just plop the net under his head. There he goes. On pike off. So with being able to unhook that trace, if you've got a lot of dogs around, you want to be very careful. Uh, it made everything much easier. And because the eel was out of the way as well, because it was up to the top of this trace, I could clearly see in the mouth, you could get in there and, and use these. I'm, I'm a big convert to these. You know, your pliers and everything work and you do need them because they're a bit longer. If you could, and you get a bit more force on them for a very deeply hooked fish. But if you had a longer version of this still, you're probably not going to need those. Um, but you must always have these 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 uh, hook cutters because if a fish is very deep, you want to cut the hooks and get the hooks out of it, and you want to put that fish back. Whereas if you haven't got these, you're putting it back with a trace in it. I, I'm sorry I'm preaching, but you are, and. Its chances of survival are pretty slim. I've seen them, I've caught one or two pike with traces in them from uh, dead bait anglers who haven't been able to unhook them. Now everybody's gonna learn, but if you watch YouTube, that's the biggest tip, tip I can get you, give you. If you wanna go pike fishing, get yourself these. If you ain't got anything else, you need those and a pair of pliers to get your, your bait safe. This is more important than anything else that you have. Um, and with your mat as well because you've got to look after these fish that you catch you, you'll be gutted if you have to put a fish back in a bad way so he was hooked on the top hook this bit of red maybe that's what uh, did it for him oh didn't he fight though you've got to find where they are oh yeah got another there we go oh he's come off but yeah drag was a little loose there but yeah we just took another one didn't we so don't move on straight away when you've had one, assuming that that's that. That one got away with it. But just working the eel nice and slow with the old stop. And they're smacking the hell out of it. it. You can work it nice and slow. It doesn't take a lot to get that tail working. And because it's not weighted, you know, in a shallow canal like this, it's a bit like a jig fly. It's not that, well, this is heavier than a jig fly, but because of its surface area, it's, uh, it doesn't sink very fast. So it lets you work it over the top of the emerging weed and lets the pike see it before it buries into the weed or... It's just such a good way to fish shallow, weedy canals. You can fish it so slow. So if they're not particularly up for it, like they haven't been in the other stretches, we didn't use this. Um, this can make the difference. A slow, 
enticing bait. It can just be the difference between catching and not. They are, in, you know, in this canal, my number one bait. If you had to give me one bait to catch a pike here, it's going to be that. Those real eels, they're that good. Come on, Pike. Probably should have bigger hooks on it, other than this Pike uh, Trace that I've uh, stolen from the 4D Pike, because that's quite a narrow bait. Um, we can talk about that, it might be all right. You sh if you're looking down on the top of your bait, you should be able to see the hook points, and you can't really see it with that, can you? You'd want a bigger size hook than that, really. I mean, it aids getting it in their mouths but you don't want to get in too deep anyway um uh, long cast away from us which seems to be the cast that always does it let's see what's happening we're having them down there i would imagine we'll get them in this little stretch here now try one down the margin there we go still a long cast away from us we're gonna have to stand on the edge a bit here though. Hopefully I got some nice footage of the fight with that pike on my um, camera over there. God, such electrifying when there's... Oh, there's one. Yeah, got another. He's not too bad. Well, there you go. One tap and bang, he's on the end. Oh, and he's off. Small one, I think. Like I was saying about uh, hooks not really big enough. Oh, yeah, got one. Not a big one, but we got another one. Hopefully this one will stay on. He's pulling. Jeez, they don't have pull for their size. Didn't look that big across there, but oh, it's fighting very well, this fish. He's a reasonable size. Similar sort of size to what we've already had. There seems to be a lot of pipe. That sort of size is a bit smaller, actually. But he's diving for the margin there. Loosen the drag off. Casey throws the hook. Goes on the last run. Yeah, he's a bit smaller than the last one. God, that fish fought for the size of it. Uh, plenty of power in the road to what to handle it, but God, they are fighting. Alright, let's leave him there. It's not as big as the last one. Smaller fish by some considerable size, but boy, did he fight. It looks as though he's nicely hooked. It's only a nice little jack, as you can see. Uh, get that one out of the way. Just this one. Oh, stay still, you bugger. All right. He's so lively, so fit at the moment. Let's get my hands right. Barely hooked. So, as you can see, those bigger hooks. What a way to go. All right. Fish is calm a second. Let's just make sure he is in the net still. Get all of this out of the way. Hopefully the filming was right. They're a bit flustered this time. All right. Um, he's only a little guy. You know, but they're all nice. They're all beautiful animals, aren't they? But boy, did that one go. He may well think he's ready to go, but let's just give him a little bit longer to how he is, he's ready to go. Right, I just lift him out of the way. Back of the tip. Net. <laughs> Get him away from the net. <sighs> Difficult here, he's alright there, he's in the margin, but he's facing in. There he's gone, he's saw me and off he Right, uh, got beat up a bit by the pike, caught a couple, but lost too many. Four or five, I don't know how many it was. The only thing that would get me a bite was a curly tail. But I didn't have the right size hooks for it, and that was the problem today. When I was fishing my eels, I was fishing two smaller hooks with them. So the hooks points weren't exposed enough, too much of the plastic was in the way, and I was losing fish. So bad angling on my part, really. 
maybe some fish getting lucky and getting away with it. But those real eels, they are so good on shallow canals. They work anywhere. You can wait them, you can fish them down deep, you can fish them slow if you fish them shallow like I do. I will do a rig video showing you how I make up that liner liner thing, an improved version of it because I've just had some uh, rigs I've nicked off other lures. But yeah, that made the difference today and I thought the real eel might work because I'd been up there and caught on the last three trips, shown them other lures which they'd had and I thought they wouldn't want to know again, shown them the shads through other things as well and it didn't work it was the only thing that worked was a real eel stick one of those on and bang i was getting bites so that's what pike fix is about sometimes sometimes it's getting the right blooming lure otherwise you're not going to get bitten and the right lure for the right situation hope uh, that helps i will do a rig video thanks for uh staying with me please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that will let you know when i put more videos out cheers Thank you.